to the channel. It's Connor from Modern Work Outdoors. This is the Tacoma. I've had it for two years. It's a 2009 TRD double cab. Uh, bought it as a TRD model instead of a TRD Pro model because in my mind it's not worth it to buy the TRD Pro because the Pro, especially if you're going to start modding it, if you don't mod it, buy it. If you're going to mod it, don't buy it. Because all the things you want to mod are all the options that came with the Pro. And there's about a $10,000 price gap, depending on which dealer you talk to. And that $10,000 can easily be used towards something else. Like rims and tires. Or wheels and tires, some people call it. But for me, I bought the TRD off-road. Bought it the manual 6-speed. And first thing I did was buy wheels and tire package. Uh, so when I started, I wanted to know what was the biggest tire you could fit on Tacoma. There's a lot of information on the web, and I'm going to show you with my opinions of it. And the reason why some people say it's a 275 is the biggest, and some people say it's 285s. I'm here to say 285s, no suspension mods. And we are going to be successful at doing this with just minor trimmings of some plastic pieces. Okay, so show you my proof. I've been riding for two years. This is the KO2s. 285, 75, 16. The wheels, you could do this on the stock wheel. This is a 16 by 8 zero offset. I just love this brand of wheels. I've been I've been in the racing world. I follow the racing world. So for me, it's a dream of mine to have Volk racing wheels. This is super JDM, that type of stuff. So you don't have to do that wheel, but it's just me. I think it looks really, really good on the truck. And I just did it because I like it. Okay. But the, the tire is what's important in this video. Like it says 285, and it will rub here. When the tires are brand new, it will rub here. And all you gotta do is take a little razor blade and just trim it back until it doesn't rub anymore. And just keep turning the wheels in until it doesn't rub anymore. And you know, after a while, it just kind of files itself away. And like I said, this is 100% this is TRD suspension, and it's now settled and we got sliders on it so we got the rw sliders which weigh i think like 150 pounds on the truck so it's still even compatible with that even though it's weighted down a little bit and even with the cap on the back i know it kind of adds i don't know if it adds much weight to the front wheels or not but 285s 285 is where you want to be at and there's a proof it looks good too it fills in the gap of the car very very well okay so it fills in the gap really well. Here's the back wheel. Looks good. No complaints here. Plenty of clearance everywhere. And when it comes to clearance, a lot of people will say 275 instead of 285s. I think it's because of their wheel offset. So let me explain that. This is still the OEM specs. Even though it's a aftermarket wheel, it is a 16 by 8 zero offset. There's a lot of rims and tire packages where you can buy a rim or a wheel. Uh, 16 by 8, minus 10 or minus 20 millimeter offset. The farther you go in terms of millimeter, the more the wheel sticks out. And the more the tire sticks out. Well, the more it sticks out, the more it's going to rub when you turn. Okay, so with my zero offset, all you got to do is trim that. There's a little rubbing on this, this metal frame but not that bad with a 20 it's going to rub a lot more because the angle the, the turn angle is farther out the turn radius is farther out so it will rub more and that's the major thing that i don't think a lot of people are understanding when they're talking about rims tire packages wheels etc etc so for me a proven setup is a 16 by 8 zero offset 285s 75 16 and you'll be fine these are the ko2s they came with pretty good treads now if you got the mud tires i don't know but as far as the ko2s are concerned which is a very popular tire for uh, the tacomas you'll be just fine all right guys see you guys on the next one i know this is a car video car truck video but my channel does a lot more off-roading no we don't do any off-roading really we do a lot of fishing um kayaks that type of stuff so kayaks, land base, and boats, stripers, white bass, hybrids. So if you guys want to tune in for that, be sure to sub to the channel. Or if you guys want to see more of this truck in action sometimes, towing our boats around, sub to the channel also. All right, guys. See you out.
see you on the next one